everyone, Tammy Elliott here. I'm excited to share some useful tips to help you lead your volunteers there in your organization. So last week, I had the privilege to sit in on a leadership conference. Volunteer NBC is one of the satellite locations for a leadership conference that was broadcasted all over North America. It was really an exciting day. So I got to chat with a lot of you, and it was nice to see a lot of you had respect uh, for your roles in your organization. But it was also sad for me to hear that a lot of leaders of volunteers do not have respect in the organization. And so I want to give you some juicy tips today that I learned to help you get buy-in. So number one tip is refer to your programs, your volunteer programs, as a strategy, not an initiative or program. Strategy is a really respected word that leaders will understand. Number two, Think of the, or figure out the ratio between staff to volunteers. So if it takes 100 volunteers to run your strategy, and there's 10 uh, staff, so that means that for every paid employee, you need 10 volunteers to accomplish the mission in your organization. That's something that the people who are real left brain will understand. That's something tangible for them to hang on to. And the third item that I want to give you that, to earn buy-in and respect is I want you to think outside the box here and think about a strength that you don't have or that's not in the organization right now or a project that would really help you take your organization to the next level and recruit a volunteer for that. Let us help you do that. Look at volunteers are not just here for menial roles and they don't need to be babysat. I could write a book on what I've seen volunteers accomplish when given the chance. So those are my three juicy tips. As always, feel free to reach out to me. I'm excited to talk to you and help you earn respect and buy in the organization. Bye for now. Take care.